Sykes. Hello universe, my name is Kati and welcome to my adventure. Today I want to talk about sex. <laughs> Actually, to be more specific, the female orgasm. I'm gonna go ahead and point out the obvious. I am no sex educator by any means. If you are here for sex ed or finding out how to make a woman orgasm, go to a different channel because this is this is not what it's gonna be. If this is the first time you're visiting my channel, um, hi, how are you? I'm sorry that this is the video that brought you to me, but if you've been around for a while, you know that back in uh, my youthful days, I was kind of a, how do you say, a Whore. I have not made a video for so long and when I finally do I decide to make it about coming <laughs> This is actually a topic that I've been wanting to make a video on for a while But I didn't know how to approach it and recently Big Sean has What a f***ing weird way to start out a video. Big Sean stated that he was able to make a female orgasm nine times in one night it's all I've seen on my timeline. There have been a bunch of different opinions on it, and today we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty and uh, talk about it. It's something that should be talked about because I feel like a lot of women don't really know just all the things our bodies are capable of doing. I've talked to so many girls, um, young and old, who just are so unaware of their sexuality. And by sexuality, I don't mean, you know, gay, lesbian, bi, straight, whatever. I'm, I'm talking about your personal sexuality, like all of the things that you enjoy and, and can do. I know I keep saying that sexually. Um, so I lost my virginity when I was 16. Yeah, I think I was 16. The first... <sighs> I want to say probably year and a half. I didn't enjoy sex all that much. Like it was fun and it was cool and it felt good here and there, but it wasn't like, wow, you know, like what you imagine sex to be. I think it had a lot to do with the fact that I wasn't comfortable. I feel like a lot of women can relate to this. It's sort of a don't ask, don't tell thing. Let's dive into the religion tab. Okay, I'm not religious in any any way. I'm not trying to bash any religions. You know, I'm just speaking from my experience. I'm sure people have other experiences and feel free to tell me your experience in the comments below. I'm just trying not to offend anybody. In church, at least for me, I, I grew up, you know, going to church. It's very drilled into our heads. Don't have sex before marriage. And if you're having sex, it's to conceive a child. There was never any talk of having sex for pleasure. Whenever I heard about sex growing up, it was strictly for reproductive purposes only. And I'm talking when a biological man and a biological woman have sex and they're trying to reproduce. Why do I keep saying reproduce? When they're trying to have a fucking kid. In order for a woman's egg to be fertilized, the guy has to ejaculate. These are words I use in everyday conversations, but when I'm saying it to a camera with the purpose of putting it online, I'm just getting like really nervous. Oh, uh, sex. You see what I mean? It's a thing where it's like, when females start talking about sex, we get bashful and we get scared and embarrassed and it's like, oh no, I shouldn't be talking about this. I'm a lady. Fuck that. I'm a lady and I have sex. So anyways, an egg has to be fertilized by a sperm. In order for sperm to come out, a guy has to come. We've never ever heard or talked about how a woman is supposed to feel through all of that. So growing up, it was always like, okay, to have a sex, <laughs> to have a sex, <laughs> to have a kid, I have sex with a guy, I make the guy come and then I'm pregnant. That's all we ever really learned. And then there was, of course, some of us got the shitty little, this is herpes, if you have sex, you die type thing. I came from a small town. I didn't even get the in STI, STD class, which is probably why I thought I had throat gonorrhea when it just turned out to be strep. Link in description if you haven't seen that video. Protection, risks of having sex, all of that is important, but I think it's also very important for us to talk about how we feel. A really long time ago, I posted something talking about kind of, you know, what I'm talking about now. And so many young women messaged me back saying that they had never had an orgasm or that they didn't know the difference between coming and orgasming or that they didn't know that it was even acceptable to say that they wanted to have an orgasm. Now, as a bisexual female, I'm probably stereotyped in a way that since I've had sex with other females, I've had better sex, or I know my body more. There's this stereotype that straight men don't know how to make a girl come, or they don't care enough. But the thing is, that's not how all men are. That's how the men you are choosing to be with are treating you. I've had amazing sex with women, and I've had amazing sex with men. The same way I've had 
not so great sex with women and not so great sex with men. Learn things about yourself. It is 100% okay to want to explore your body and want to explore other people's bodies and be open about what you're exploring and what you're enjoying. If you aren't being honest with your partner about what you do or don't enjoy, they're never going to learn how to please you. It's such a common thing for women to fake it. And I totally understand, you know, maybe you're tired and you don't want to have sex anymore, but just say that. There used to be times where I wouldn't want to have sex and a guy would sort of start coming on to me and I felt as if I couldn't say no. So I, you know, just let it continue until it finished and then I'd roll over and I would feel completely empty. Sadly, I know so many females who have felt the same way. It's so damaging for young women to have that mindset. I mean, for anyone to have that mindset. It's not a gender thing for anybody to have that mindset. It can cause so many problems. And I'm not just talking about emotional. It can cause physical problems too. If you're in the middle of sex and all of a sudden something starts hurting and you continue, that could cause you some major damage <laughs> down there. And that's not fun. I just got really bashful. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not trying to do the whole your body is a temple thing, but bitch, your body is a temple. You shouldn't sit there and expect the greatest sex you've ever had, but you should at least expect your partner to listen and be understanding. Sex shouldn't be something that makes you feel uncomfortable. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be enjoyable. I know, it's weird as a young female talking to a guy or a girl or whatever and saying, oh, I like X, Y, Z, or stopping in the middle of sex and saying, hey, I don't like that. Do what makes you feel good and communicate what makes you feel good. I know that I'm jumping from here to there, but I hope that the point I'm trying to get across is um, coming out clear. Straight girls, you deserve to come. Bisexual girls, you deserve to come. Gay boys, you deserve to come. Lesbians, you deserve to come. Non-binary people, you deserve to come. I'm like fucking Oprah Winfrey with this. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section or message me personally if you're too afraid to put it out there. I'm here for whatever you need, except to come. I can't do that, but um, maybe I can uh, help you communicate how to. I'm just gonna keep on dancing because I still feel really awkward about this. Point of my video. Everybody deserves to have a healthy and fun and enjoyable sex life. Guys, gals, non-binary pals, every single person. If you feel like you can't have that, communicate. If you feel like you can't communicate, find out how. There are some sex ed channels I know of that have helped me a little bit, so I will be sure to Put the links to those in the description below. By far, one of my favorite YouTube channels. It's a couple named Connor and Brittany. They're super amazing human beings that share and talk about topics all the way from parenting skills to polyamory to sex ed. Their channel is so amazing. I would definitely recommend going to check them out if you get a chance. I've never met them. Maybe one day I can. I don't know. That'd be awesome. I'm just fangirling right now. Sorry. <laughs> but they're really great. Be sure to go check them out. And then there's a couple other channels I know of too that I will leave in the description below. Thank you guys so much for letting me share my thoughts. Thank you Big Sean for <laughs> inspiring this video. <laughs> and uh, my final thoughts of the whole article is that it is 100% possible for majority of females to come nine times in a day. So props to Big Sean. I 100% believe him. Hopefully you guys don't think of me any differently after this video. I really appreciate having the freedom to share whatever I want on my platform. I also know that I have a fairly decent amount of new subscribers, so hi. Hopefully this video didn't scare you off. Back to more normal videos here soon. I have some fun things planned and um, yeah. If you'd like to follow my journey, please click the subscribe button, and if you'd like to follow my other adventures, I'll put my social media links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Communicate your sexual needs, buy a sex toy, and until my next video, remember that the universe is on your side. <laughs> Bye. Get your girl a drip, drip, drip. Suck it on my tip, tip, tip. What I wanna get, get, get. Yeah, bitch, I am vindictive.